Bubblinkas! Breakfast is on the table, Bean! Yay! Eat! Eat, my kinderlings! The breakfast is the most important meal of the day, Bean! I love cheese flakes. Mm -hmm. They're the best. No way, mm -hmm. Seven. Nothing beats chocolate wheels. They're chocolatey with the great taste. Five, that's my cereal. Mm. You've got your own honey biscuit owls. Mm. Ahoy, land lovers. I hope all hands are enjoying their breakfast. It's always best to start a sea voyage with a hearty meal. Sea voyage? Aye, Sailor One, a sea voyage. Ah, a sea monster! Who are you supposed to be today, Three? I am the great submarine commander, Captain Threemo. And you will be my crew on a voyage to the bottom of the ocean. How exciting. Uh, what does a fashionable lady wear underwater? How about rubber pants? When do we leave? Should we pack a lunch? I'm big savvy turtle! Hold it! Hang on! Wait just one second! I think we're all missing one important point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have a submarine! My submarine will be arriving in tomorrow's mail. The mail? You are all aware of my fondness for sea urchin cereal. I sent in 50 box tops, and they are sending me this. Wow! A real submarine? Yes! It's going to take us all on a wondrous adventure to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, boy! Can I bring Sammy Turtle? A real submarine for 40 box tops? 50. It seems a bit unlikely, Captain Three. A submarine is very big and expensive. I find it hard to believe they'll send you one in exchange for some bits of cardboard. You're just jealous because I'm getting my very own vessel. Not at all. I just don't want you to be disappointed that what you get isn't quite what you expected. Oh, what? One is having a good point, Thrilling. I have every confidence that the fine people who make sea urchin cereal won't disappoint me in the slightest. Look at the picture. It is a wonder of the... Sammy Turtle! <laughs> of course, Sailor Five. You may bring Sammy the Turtle. His water wisdom may prove useful. I suggest that we meet in the backyard for a training exercise in preparation for tomorrow's voyage. I hope Three isn't going to be let down when the submarine arrives tomorrow. It feels strange, One, but for once, I agree with you. Four, mop the deck. Two, check those charts. One, man the periscope. We need more speed, Sailor Five. A turtle! A turtle! What a turtle! How come I have to mop the floor? It's called swabbing the deck, Four. Whatever. You get to look at maps. I get to swab. No fair. First mate one, let me have a look there. Aye, aye, Captain Threemo. Prepare to dive. Prepare to dive. Preparing to dive. Dive, dive, dive. Dive, dive, dive. Where are we going, Captain Tremo? To a very special place known as the bottom of the sea. What's it like there? Wet. Wet and wonderful. The ocean can be deeper than the highest mountain is tall. The wonders of the deep. Wow, look at the flocks of fish. A group of fish is called a school, not a flock, Ensign Two. I knew that. <gasps> and here is a pod of whales. A pod? These aren't peas, they're whales. I like peas. There are no peas. Hello, baby whale! A baby whale is called a calf. What a beautiful sound. Wow, that is one big fish. Technically, a whale isn't a fish at all. It's a mammal. 
Come on, it's got a tail and fins. It swims in the ocean. It's a fish. Whales are different from fish in many ways. Fish have scales, while whales have skin with tiny hairs. Fish have gills. These gills help them to breathe in water. But whales breathe air like us. They can hold their breath for a long time. But eventually, they have to go back to the surface and take a breath of air. Bye-bye, whales. Have a nice breath of air. Golly, it's getting awfully dark out there. The deeper we go, the less sunlight. First mate one, turn on the lights. Aye, aye, Captain Primo. No! Ah, an octopus! He releases ink as a way of defending himself. Cool! There. There's our destination. What is this place? It is the palace of the wonderful three-legged dancing clam. Ladies and gentlemen, monsters and turtles, feast your eyes on the rarest sight ever to be seen on land or beneath the waves. The wonderful three-legged dancing clam. I'm happy to meet you, I certainly am. And the world's only three-legged high-stepping clam. The world's only three-legged high-stepping clam. Is there an echo in here? Yeah, that's what I am. Oh, Nelly. When you use your imagination, I'm so sure you will find. You can go on long voyages deep in your mind. You might see a whale. Or the king of Siam, or the world's only three-legged high-stepping clam. The world's only three-legged high-stepping clam. Just imagine and make all your wishes come true. Your mind is a playground just waiting for you. It's a way to keep dreaming all through the day. You'll find it a magnificent method of play. Hey, look who it is. It's my turtle friend, Sam. We once had great times in the summery sand. Then he went to a carnival. That's where I found Sam. I bet you didn't know Sam could dance. <laughs> well, he can. He can? Take it away, Sam. Oh, he's got them sweet feet. Well, I sure do admire that little amphibian. Sam, he's just coming out of his shell. Good boy. Well, it's all up to you when you want to have fun. You can travel to any old land under the sun or under the waves deep down in the sea to the home of the three-legged clam. That's me. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't know Sam was such a good dancer. Me neither. Oh, no. What is it, Captain Dremo? It's an undersea earthquake. Hurry, to the submarine. <laughs> Take us out of here, one. What's going on? Huh? There must be a leak somewhere. Mom, calling submarine. Mom, calling submarine. Over. Captain Dremo here. We seem to be leaking. Over. Coming in out of the rain, are you? What? The rain? Coming in, are you all? I am the hot chocolate making. Hot, hot chocolate? chocolate? That was fun. I like imagining the submarine. And dancing clam. And whales. Today was only an imaginary journey. But tomorrow, when the submarine comes, we'll do it for real. Good night, crew. Tomorrow, we sail. <gasps> Mailman! Mailman! Package for three. 
I was expecting something a little larger, say, submarine-sized. I say, this isn't what I expected. They told me I'd get a submarine. They fooled me. Didn't you kind of fool yourself? Yes, Ree. How could you expect to get a real working submarine in exchange for 50 bits of cardboard? Alas, I guess you're right. I only believed what I wanted to believe. We still had a wonderful time pretending we had a submarine. I guess we did have fun, didn't we? But what am I supposed to do with this? Prepare to dive! Prepare to dive! I've heard you the first time. Good luck, Captain Sam, on your voyage to the bottom of the bathtub. Thank you.